Hello, everybody. I am back, and uh, we're drifting on the weekend again. I've got hardly anything to do. Josiah, on the other hand, is pulling out his gearbox and changing the clutch. We've got a good night ahead. Old gearbox, new one, old clutch, new one. So, making good time. She will be ready. Some of you might know I went and bought myself a sticking cutting machine so I can make my own stickers, do delivery on my car, but also do stickers and sell them for other people. So, uh, yeah, the car has got half of a new job, not quite finished yet. <clears throat> Still gotta do the other side, but it's looking pretty cool. So I was fixing the fuel gauge last night because it stopped working, the float was stuck. In it, and I realised my fuel tank moves around a little bit. Got underneath just now to have a look, and the straps aren't that tight, so I'm just going to undo the straps and then put some rubber underneath it to tighten them up because there's I can't get it any more tighter on the bolt to stop it from moving around. I'm not an expert, but I assume that fuel tank moving is probably not a good idea. Go where the experts go. Super cheap auto. You should sponsor me. Back from super cheap, I had to go get a fuel filter because when I fix the fuel gauge uh, the filter on the bottom of the uh, fuel pump had a fair bit of shit on it as you can see. But I want to put this on it, a new fuel filter, inline fuel filter um, to make sure that none's getting through. Well, this is fun. Having a bath together, baby. I spend all your money at the Gucci store. Now that the car is somewhat clean, don't know how much of a waste of time that was considering it's probably going to be raining when I load it up. Got a pack. One of my biggest dilemmas of late isn't one I'm going to complain about. Still a dilemma. Which rims do I take? My collection has grown substantially. I hope it grows more still. So time to pack anyway, get tyres, tools, and then get the ute and load it up and I'm good to go. new record. Jay Chingy has just arrived. Load him up and we are ready to go. A few moments later. After we got the car off the trailer I realized that the back wheel was scrubbing. We jacked it up and found out that one of the traction arms were broken. Uh, it was a bit stressful, thanks to Ron Bailey, legend, gave me one to borrow to get us out there and my brother put it on, ready for practice. I managed to qualify sixth, which put me into my first battle against Tom Morgan in his R31. It was his first time ever in competition and he did really well, but with a spin, put me through to the top 16. Back to the 
in the top 16, I came up against Old Mate and I forgot your name, so I'm sorry if you're watching. In the white R31, he drove hard. It was a good battle, um, but luckily for me, the decision went my way, which put me through to the top eight. In the top eight, came up against Nathan Clark. The dude charges hard, so I knew I'd have to throw it down. Put it on his door as close as I could in my chase run. My lead run, my line was average, but he spun at the end, so they rerun us again. In my chase run, in the rerun, I got close at the start, but on my transition I stuffed up, which gave him the gap. Swap it round. He chased me well, um, and he got the win. He went through to take third, I think, overall on that weekend, and then third for the series. But the day wasn't over. Expression sessions went out and had a blast with all my friends. Driving hard, getting close, burning tires. Like always guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep up to date with all that's happening in the small town drifter world. See you next time.